are back with uh, our final, for today, uh, interview with uh, a Small Business of the Year Award finalist. Today we're at REACH. Uh, REACH, actually we were here just a couple weeks ago, you recently completed a, a rebranding, and so um, uh, I'm going to have uh, Ryan, I'm, well, first of all, I'm Brian Otten, I'm the Marketing Manager at the Chamber. Ryan Kaiser here is, uh, is with REACH. Ryan, tell me a little bit about your business. I guess I can go kind of back to where it all started. Um, I had uh, uh, worked uh, previously for uh, Cellular One, which then uh, in the service department, um, and then I, uh, they, they got bought out by AT&T, which uh, shortly thereafter, uh, they eliminated service departments across the nation, so I was without a job. So about 15 years ago, I started uh, Complete Cellular Service, which uh, that we did uh, cellular device repair, and, uh, mostly hands-free uh, in vehicles along with uh, mobile booster packages, which that leaded into, um, over the next number of years, uh, to cellular amplification for buildings, um, for commercial buildings and residential, which led into like cellular uh, routers and the internet that we provided uh, remotely, um, which over the last uh, year with this, uh, this whole stuff that went on, everybody working from home, it's been a great uh, benefit uh, to, to the uh, so uh, that's kind of the, the history. So uh, moving forward now, um, uh, we uh, have been listening to our customer base and, and they're always asking us if we do this or do that. Uh, they're asking us if we do like manage the mobility lines um, or uh, uh, manage um, our, our telecom services or IT services. So recently we rebranded re as Reach, uh, which now we do a bunch more of services. Um, we do like a reach amplification, reach uh, cellular mobility, uh, reach managed services and IT services, and we also do uh, first net and public safety uh, systems. Um, so now we're, we're covering all that under uh, reach. Okay. Um, and so the um, you, you got a great location here on Stewart Avenue on the west side of Wassa. Um, you talked a little bit about your history when you um, did the application for uh, the Small Business of the Year Awards, is this the first time you've been on a finalist? Correct, yes. Okay. Yep, first time we've been nominated. With nice. Them. So you did that application. When you, As you're completing that application, did, was there anything that you sort of learned about yourself or where you kind of realized, hey, we, I forgot all about this. You know, this, yeah. is, this is how far we've come. So yeah, I've, I've learned that I can't do this all by myself. So uh, yeah, I've, I've learned um, that have, uh, have to support our staff, give them the right tools and equipment to work, have them work most efficiently. Um, we've always been a high customer service, uh, a customer service business, um, but uh, staying in contact with the customer and following through and, and following up immediately is, is kind of key to our business. Um, also too, through this process with uh, growing, um, having quality um, softwares to manage our business makes everything run a whole lot smoother. Sure, and the um, obviously the you know the people are a big part of the equation for your business. Tell, tell me about is there anybody in particular you'd like to recognize as far as their impact on your business, either uh, in your starting out or, or currently or, or any place in between? Sure. Um, so I guess starting out early on in life, uh, I say my my father figure. Um, so my my father, my grandfather, my godfather. And my father-in-law, they're all uh, su su successful entrepreneurs, business owners. Um, and so they've, they've taught me a lot over the years, uh, but they've been very supportive and with knowledge and, and, and help. Um, also, uh, John Milbrat, who, when I worked for AT&T, she kind of started me out in this uh, type of business and uh, gave me the tools to make it successful right away. And uh, also my wife and kids, uh, they're, they're a, a big part of all this, helping out. And then, of course, my uh, REACH staff, which uh, they're super supportive, and without them, I wouldn't be able to have all this. Great. So uh, before we, we wrap up this conversation, anything else you want to share about your business? Uh, yeah, I, I guess uh, look, looking for uh, technicians. I don't okay. know if I can put that No, go for it. Yeah, go yeah, for so, it. So uh, we're, we're looking for, uh, you know, we're expanding our installation, uh, looking for uh, t uh, installation technicians, but uh, we have uh, applications online at uh, reachconnect.com. Um, but other than that, yeah. All right. Well, yeah, uh, make sure if you haven't already, uh, the Chamber website, you can 
post jobs on there. So yeah. keep yeah. that keep that in mind. Um, well, thanks, Ryan. It was good to see you again. Like I said, we were here a couple of weeks ago with uh, the ribbon cutting. Uh, enjoyed that a lot. Um, looking forward to next Wednesday finding out who the recipient of the Small Business of the Year Award is going to be. For those watching, if you haven't gotten your tickets yet for next Wednesday's event, I encourage you to go on wasachamber.com and reserve your tickets. Those tickets include uh, uh, some refreshments, uh, I believe a hot dog. Um, it's, it's going to be a fun night out at the ballpark, um, even though there's not a ball game. Uh, the fact that our Small Business of the Year Awards are going to be held at Athletic Park is going to be something kind of special this year. We're going to have a, an opportunity for uh, all of our attendees to really spend some time networking, which everybody's kind of hungry to do. And um, we're going to name those three recipients of the Small Business of the Year Awards and uh, recognize outgoing NTC President Lori Wires. So um, it's going to be a great program. There's going to be tours of Athletic Park. They've made some really cool enhancements over there uh, over the last year and you're going to get a first opportunity to see those as well. So if you're interested, wasschamber.com, that's where you can get your tickets for the Small Business of the Year Awards. Ryan, thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. You too.